when you find yourself in danger, when you're threatened by a stranger, when it looks like you will take a licking. <laughs> there is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you. Just call for super chicken. Fred, if you're afraid, you'll have to overlook it. Besides, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. He will drink his super sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss, and he will bring them in alive and kicking. <laughs> There is one thing you should learn when there is no one else to turn to Call for Super Chicken Call for Super Chicken Our story opens aboard preceding airlines Flight 17 from Dodge City to Denver All right, everybody, reach This here's a stick-up Arthur, dear, the movie's on Movie? Another western? I ain't no movie, mister Then you are the ugliest stewardess I ever saw Almost the meanest. Now put all your valuables in this here hat. The plane robber passed along the aisle collecting money, watches, rings, and after dinner mints. And when he was through. Now keep them seat belts fastened till I'm gone, you hear me? Geronimo! The masked man! He's going away and we didn't even get his name. Do you suppose it was you know who? No, I'd warrant. Hiccup's the name. Wild Ralph Hiccup. <laughs> The daring bandit had planned his getaway jump with pinpoint accuracy. I think you ought to know, Hoss. I don't take kindly to that. On flight after flight, Wild Ralph Hiccup struck again. Sit still or I'm gonna shoot somebody. Maybe me, Geronimo! One of these days, Hoss, you and me's gonna have to have a little talk. News of the robberies finally reached Miami, vacation playground of Henry Cabot Henhouse III, better known as Super Chicken. Look at that, Super Chicken. Please, Fred, when I'm not on the sauce, call me... Henry. Mr. Henhouse. Mr. Henhouse? Boy, you sure know how to hurt a guy. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it, Fred. Hmm, Wild Ralph Pickup is robbing planes again. This looks like a job for... Mr. Henhouse! Fred. Oh, all right. For Super Chicken. Right. You get the sand pail and the rubber ducky, and I'll change in the cabana. Here's the super sauce. <coughs> What's the matter? Got sand in it, Fred, and... The super sauce took effect, and the mild-mannered fowl was changed into... Super Chicken! Come on, Fred. We've got to catch a plane. Roger Wilcox. Disguised as Super Chicken and Fred, Super Chicken and Fred flew back and forth from Miami to Cedar Rapids for four straight days. And I've got enough tickets for 26 more trips, too. How come we're clear back in the economy section, Super Chicken? Just be glad we have seats, Fred. How come? Did you ever try to book space for a chicken and a lion? Then at that moment... All right, folks, Ace. Just put your valuables in the hat. I wonder why. Probably for safekeeping, Fred. They can't be too careful with all those robberies going on. Now, don't nobody follow me or I'm gonna shoot. And my name ain't Wild Ralph Hick Hiccup. Wild, Wild Ralph Hiccup? Hiccup? We've been robbed! Don't make a scene, Fred. Things are embarrassing enough. After him! <whistles> Better give up, Ralph. We've got you cornered. Super chicken. You'll never get me. Stop that! Somebody could get hurt. Which reminds me, how do we keep from getting hurt when we hit the ground? Well, I used my super brain, Fred. Yes? I brought a parachute. Just one? You, you knew, knew the, the job, job was, was dangerous, dangerous when, when you, you took it. it. I know. I thought you were going to speak to him about that. He's getting away. No, he's not. Get on my back, Fred. There's not a horse alive that can outrun Super Chicken. Whoa, now, easy, big fella. Well, what are you waiting for? You're supposed to say giddy up. Sorry, giddy up. And the mighty chicken streaked across the plane. Hi, old chicken! Away! We can corner him on the cliff. Sure enough, Wild Ralph Hiccup was trapped at the edge of Breakneck Cliff. Super chicken, why didn't you stop? You didn't Whoa, whoa! It's a little late now, Fred. Quickly picking up the trail again, Super Chicken tracked Wild Ralph Hiccup to the little western town of Soapwater. 
The chicken says he'll meet you in the street at high noon. Well, then he's a goner because I'm the fastest gun in the West. No kidding. I'll show you. Just keep your eye on this coin. Ooh. Let that be a lesson to you. Never trust a man who throws money around. It was now high noon, and the fastest gun in the West went out to meet the fastest chicken in Pittsburgh. Tension filled the air like peanut brittle. Then Wild Ralph made his play. I'll tell you what. I'll flip a coin to see who draws first. No, let me flip Fred instead. And while the amazed bandit watched Fred flip, Super Chicken drew back his super fist. Hey, I win. Wild Ralph was knocked across the street and into a handy jail cell. But Super Chicken, I didn't even see you hit him. That was my super punch, Fred. It travels too fast for the eye to follow. Took you by surprise, didn't it, Ralph? Surprise? You could have knocked me down with a feather. I did. And now we go home, right, Cassius? Er, uh, Super Chicken? No, Fred. I still have 26 more tickets from Miami to Cedar Rapids. We can't let them go to waste. Oh, boy. Once again, the nation's airways have been made safe for democracy. So when you hear that cry in the sky... <laughs> You'll know Super Chicken has three more trips to go. <laughs>